Hi guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to another DIY video. Recently I've been really loving these safety pin DIY kind of things and you have seen it in my like split t-shirt that I did some safety pin DIYs. Today I have like a really huge oversized DIY t-shirt for you guys. Um, if it was warmer I would 100% wear this as a dress but it's raining outside currently and I'm currently freezing while swimming this but I want to show you guys the, the t-shirt. And I really love plain black t-shirt, but I like to spice it up a little bit. So I'll say I spice up this one with some safety pins. And I think this might have been requested. I did a Instagram stories question where I asked you guys, would you guys like to see, like, what DIYs would I like to see? And I think someone said, like, just plain black t-shirt DIYs. So here's one for you. Uh, it was super quick, super duper easy, and I have more DIYs planned because plain black t-shirts are the one thing you are guaranteed to find in charity shops. This plain black t-shirt legit cost me 50p. I have others that cost me up to £2 and down to like 29p. Some are even free because they've been given to me. Uh, but, but these are like the easiest thing to find and everyone has a plain t-shirt. Whether it's black, oversized, tight fitting, whatever. This DIY I do recommend a loose oversized because if one of these splits and it's tight that is going to hurt a little bit. I use some really high quality safety pins and they are really hard to open and close which means that I'm less likely to get stabbed and I did pay £1.60 for 50 money um, you can buy like sets of 1000 safety pins off of eBay for about, for about £10 but I like the different shapes and sizes if you want one size I would recommend doing one of them but I like the different shapes and sizes on this and well this is how we did it so let's get into it shall we so guys for this DIY you're going to need a plain t-shirt mine is in black obviously and I thrifted this for 50p the tag says £3 and this cross means it's only 50p um, and this is from next and it is a 2XL regular fit men's um, the oversized fit is better for this DIY because you're going to be like cutting holes in it if it's too tight or these these pins might stab into you so an oversized fit is definitely better you could need like a little ton of safety pins here I don't know how many I have maybe 150 different size safety pins um, because I need that many and a pair of sharp scissors and that's all new for this DIY it's really really simple so let's get into it shall we so for this top I wanted to start by cutting it directly up the middle so I'm going to fold it directly in half by matching up the side seams and that'll be where I cut so now I've sufficiently pinned it in half I am just going to cut down this line that I've made so now my shirt is split I'm going to start say, to putting this side before I cut it into a like half crop. <laughs> I'm going to find it easier to safety pin when it's already folded in half, but I'm not sure what size safety pin I want to use. So I'm going to experiment around with some medium sized safety pins, and I'm going to pin the top and the bottom before I do anything else. To separate the two pieces, I've just put some cardboard under there, because this will mean that I won't catch anything else, and it'll be a lot easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to stretch it out just to make sure I have it all lined up. And starting at the bottom I'm going to pin through the seam on both sides so I know it's matched up. And all you want to do is just continue putting the pins in through the whole way up until you feel that's enough. So now I have safety pinned down the length of the entire top, I'm going to add some more in because it's a little bit sparse and the original is a lot more full of safety pins. So now I've finished safety pinning it down at the length of the top, I'm going to want to cut probably around here to cut it in half. You could leave it completely like this if you like this better, but I am going to be cutting it. We're just going to repeat the same steps of essentially sticking it back together with the um, safety pins.
So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope it was helpful. This DIY is totally unisex, there was obviously like no gender on clothing. This DIY in particular can be done for any type of clothing, for any type of person. Um, this can be done on a dress, this could be done on baby trousers if they're more loose fitting, on a t-shirt, you can do like wash them down, you can do it cropped. However you want to do it, you can, and it's so pretty simple and I highly recommend it for anyone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and stay tuned for more from me, I do post three times a week on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays, and I'll be having more DIY content out for you guys as well, as it seems to be really, really popular. So stay safe, the dark, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!